What is time? We talk about it every day, and have been fascinated by it since its dawn. But what is it? Is it the manifestation of our own fears? Or simply something that we cannot control, only observe? We sought to define it by creating the clock, and our efforts were rewarded as we gained great technological advances and greater understanding of our world as we are able to explore it farther than we ever have before. Each clock is a work of art, a masterpiece, and the amount of dedication that goes into each clock is simply astonishing. Forward students in Dr. Bensky's Astronomy 324 class were about to discover what it takes to create your own clock. Robert Munoz, Michelle Yang, Philip Gossian, and Mickey Takis. This is our journey in making a clock. Our journey started at Beverly's to pick up supplies. Then it was off to the craft center to assemble our clock. We decided to build a folio clock, and after hours at the craft center, we finally had our finished product that could run for three minutes. But could it keep time accurately was the question. No. <laughs> Seven seconds per revolution so far. And it stopped. <laughs> but finally, we got it right. So the time indicator takes about 10 seconds to go around. Started about a second early, so we'll let that run for a little bit. And revolution number six. Since we started about a second late, that's about three extra seconds. So, so the clock will run a total of three minutes and nine seconds. So uh, we're going to turn away for a brief moment. Uh, this is our folio. This acts as our regulator. And it turns our escapement, which is being pushed back and forth by our crown wheels. And that's giving us our nice little tick and talk, although you can't hear it very well. And you cannot see it, unfortunately, but we have a weight, which is attached to that string that is causing the crown wheels to rotate, and that is acting as our power source. And we are approaching the three minute mark. And I just want to thank you for watching our video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us.